she does need to reassert her authority, doesn't she? We're, we're told that there is a reshuffle pending. Is that the case? Uh, I, I have no idea about any of that. This is speculation. I'm, I'm determined to get on with the job. Speculation based on an interview that she gave to the Sunday Times. Well, so, I, I think mean, you're here to explain what she meant. By we all it. have is, to be are, careful. Are she going to reshuffle the cabinet in the next few. Weeks? We all have to be careful about the words we use because journalists like you will extrapolate from any words that we use oh, a, 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 a meaning that may not be what was intended. What she said was she wanted the best people around the cabinet table. She's also said before she believes she has the best people around the cabinet table. Just now, where they sit around the, the table, that's the perhaps the important issue, thing is that we. I mean, come on, let's be honest about it. If Theresa May is to hold a, a, a reshuffle, if she is to, to re-establish her authority, there is one name that needs to be dealt with, and we both know who that is. There's a lot of ifs there. You've, you've said you've, there were two ifs, at least, in the question. Yeah, all and related I think... to her continuing as Prime Minister. If she is to reassert her authority through a reshuffle, one name needs to be looked at. And again, we both know who I'm talking about here, don't we? I think I think I, I know who you're insinuating, but I think the important <coughs> Boris. thing <coughs> is that we get on with delivering on what the country's asked for. And you talk about what people think in the country. I've been in my constituency this week. Everybody, first of all, felt incredible humanity for her. Mm -hmm. They really wanted to say that they cared about her and they saw that she was struggling on that stage on Wednesday. It's not feeling sorry for her. It's feeling that anyone could be in that position. I suspect you go on occasionally, and even, even you with a cold occasionally, and get through the show. She <laughs> did that. No, to be honest, I, I spend my days in my bed any chance <laughs> But no, 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 let's, let, let's stay on this topic of the, of, of the, the reshuffle, which you, you're not going to be speculating about. But seriously, what does it say about Theresa May's authority if she doesn't move the Foreign Secretary? I mean, it's not just questions about, you know, the challenges that she's made to his authority. There are some fairly fundamental questions about his competence. I want to, to show you a quote that, that, that Boris Johnson uh, made talking about um, uh, CERT. They have a brilliant vision to turn CERT into the next Dubai the only thing they've got to do is clear the dead bodies away. What do you make of that? Well, that was a, a, a comment that he made at a fringe meeting at conference, um, presumably trying to be witty. I don't think it was terribly witty. I don't think it was funny. But, but it is incumbent it's, it's, it's on all more, of us... It's more than not witty. It's more than not funny. It is deeply, deeply offensive. When I think of CERT, I don't think of you know, the, the tourism opportunities uh, that it affords. I think of the images, which you will have seen as well, of the lifeless bodies of children being pulled from the rubble. Are those the dead bodies? That no, and I, as I say, it's incumbent on all of us to remember that when we speak, the words that we use, the words that we say, the comments that we make will be used, they will be recorded, they'll be remembered. It's a very important life lesson for all politicians. I suspect Boris is reflecting on that himself after those comments. If it were a first offence, maybe I would accept that. Amber Rudd describes him as a, a, as a distraction. I'd put it to you, with those comments about clearing away dead bodies which have led the Libyan parliament to ask for an official apology from the foreign secretary of all people, you know, the ultimate diplomat. I mean, I'd put it to you, he's not a distraction, he's an embarrassment. Well, as I say, I'm sure he's reflecting on the comments he made and, and regretting that he even considered making those comments, never mind that they were actually said. But the important point is that we get on with the job. The Prime Minister set out policies in her conference speech that we need to deliver on. We need to get that right deal with Brexit, but we need to make sure we deliver on those policies, that, that when we identify the injustices, when we identify things going wrong, we act on them. 